Hey guys, and uh, welcome to Scripting Cast. This is the first video. I just want to talk to you about what it's going to take for you to develop a web app and what kind of personality and ambition you need to have outside of money to create your first uh, web application. I've been doing not web application, but I've been on the web more than 14 years uh, building stuff. I feel maybe that I'm a little too humble uh, because I feel that I don't know as much as I'd like to. I, you know, when you're doing web apps, you want to know everything. So this is a very, very beginner video. So if you're kind of intermediate or advanced, like you don't need to worry about this video. So basically, you as a person, you need to find this very, very interesting. You need to, this needs to be like the coolest thing ever. Um, like building something, constructing something on the internet that people are going to use. And more importantly, it needs to be something that people are going to use uh, or find useful. So in order to do that, um, you just kind of need to step into the mindset of, of being a problem solver. And within there, you're going to start developing ideas after idea after idea of of stuff and you just gotta listen to to what people are saying um a lot of people are tired of the way this works a lot of people wish that this worked this way a lot of people uh, wish something was faster you know so you kind of have to listen to what the world is saying and see if you can solve maybe you know 50 to 80 percent of those people's issues in regards to a product they're using or you know something that you can enhance this isn't easy, but it can be fun and very challenging. So if you're someone that likes to be mentally challenged, this is going to be, you know, some a career that might be very appealing to you. Um, it's very mentally challenged. Um, you got to challenge yourself to do physical activity and whatnot. But uh, I just want to start this introductory video to kind of let you guys know what I want to cover. Um, I'm going to do a few beginner series uh, on some of the, you know, uh, vocabulary, word, vocabulary words in web development that will kind of jumpstart you because really um, we program every day and we just need to be able to understand what the lingo is within you know the development world and once you understand that you can read documentation and you can read whatever it is you need to do and just kind of follow instructions and and build it and you know just continue from there and then as you keep gaining experience you're just going to keep getting better and better at what at what you're doing obviously so i'm trying to keep this video under five minutes and uh just on what i was speaking on uh, about gaining experience you're gonna suck you're gonna be really bad at this and it's gonna be frustrating and it's gonna be overwhelming and it's not gonna be pretty and people might say yeah that's nice or yeah it's kind of cool and you know just to be nice to you but don't let that bring you down and don't don't worry about it because <laughs> you know the code you wrote last week might have been the best code you thought you ever wrote and then you know two three months down the line of continuous coding and building yourself you're gonna look at that code and you're gonna be like wow that's that's horrible so just to let you know that we're all human beings and everybody can learn um, some learn faster than others so. but you know the another another important aspect of, of coding is that don't think so much coding of technical perspective but think of it as a as a life perspective like something that you know how i mentioned before we code every day you know you tell your mom your sister your wife whatever they go to the store you say hey bring me back some some juice and if they don't have juice bring me back a soda you're just programmed right there you did a conditional you had some variables like you had a lot of things going on there to get that end result to get a return so with that said trying to keep it under five and uh, i hope that these videos will help you understand and help you do what you need to do where you 
so you can get to where you want to get to.